Hi, I'm Becky from Air Frying Foodie, and I'm gonna show you how to make this delicious harvest casserole. If you're looking for something that's either a whole meal by itself or a side dish to your holiday dinner, you are going to love this dish. It's super fast, easy to make, and everybody's gonna love it. And you are gonna be able to find it in our cookbook by Jennifer West and myself in Air Fryer All Day. You can find this on Amazon, um, Target.com, or Barnes & Noble. All right, let's get started. Get started on this harvest casserole with apples, sausage, and sweet potatoes. We're gonna first cut up the can of sweet potatoes already drained. It was a 29 ounce can, so we're gonna just cut these up into small pieces just so they're not so big. In our casserole, we don't want them mashed, but we don't want super big chunks. All right, now we're gonna set that aside and peel our apples. And then we're gonna get a yellow onion and we're only gonna use about half of it. This one's pretty big, so we'll maybe use a third of this one. I'm gonna peel the skin off of this and then I'm gonna use my chopper to chop up both the onion and the apple, so. Let's get that out and get the stuff chopped up. I'm just cutting these in smaller pieces because it makes it easier to chop. And we'll do the same with the apple. If you haven't tried apples with onions, if you haven't tried apples, onions, and sausages mixed together, let me tell you, this recipe, this, the flavors together are delicious. There's something about the tartness of the apple mixed together with the sausage that just the flavors are just perfect together. It's a very warm flavor for fall. This can also be a side dish uh, at Thanksgiving where it's a great meal on its own. We eat it both ways because it's hearty enough with the sweet potatoes and with the sausage that it could be a good solid meal. And it's got fruit, veggies, so it's got everything in it. All right, if you don't have one of these choppers, like I said, they save a lot of time. They are really fun. They have different attachments. I'm gonna use the small one because I want, I want smaller pieces. They have this size attachment, and then they have, uh, they have a couple, so. And ooh. we're gonna just go ahead and chop them all up together since they're all going into the same place. Much faster than trying to do it by hand, and it'll save you the tears from crying while cutting up an onion. Now we're gonna go ahead and pour this into our bowl. Now we're gonna cut up the beef kielbasa or beef sausage. We're only gonna use half of it. And then you can save the other half for breakfast, which is also great for holiday mornings when you have a large family coming to visit and you wanna make sausage and eggs for breakfast. We'll just set that half aside and just do small slices, try to make them uniform. And then I'm gonna cut mine in half because again, you don't want huge bites when you're, when you're eating your casserole. We're gonna just add that right to our bowl. Now we just need to add in quarter cup of brown sugar that's been packed, a quarter cup of dried cranberries, a quarter cup of slivered almonds. You can leave these out if you have someone in your family with a nut allergy, but it makes a delicious extra crunch. A teaspoon of vanilla, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of salt. And let's add in that quarter cup of melted butter and stir it up again. I stirred it once already, but we're gonna stir it up to mix in that butter. And then we're gonna transfer this to a casserole dish that'll easily fit into our air fryer basket. All right, let's get this in the air fryer. And we're gonna go ahead and air fry this at 300 degrees for 25 minutes. And stir it every five minutes. All right, well now that we've made it, see how easy it was to make. It is absolutely delicious. And I'm gonna just scoop up a bite for you so you can see how yummy it is. Trust me on this, not a single bite will get left. 
at your table. It is delicious. I hope you guys like it. And remember, you can find this and a lot of other fun recipes in Air Fryer All Day. So be sure to check it out um, by Jennifer West and Rebecca Abbott. And if you're looking for more fun air fryer recipes just like this one, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.